know I see so much of my fatty arms. Okay, so we are going to start by cutting the base of the lollipop, which you can see here. I've done some of these already. I actually am making these for my daughter's birthday. So we're just going to punch this um, two and a half inch circle and set it aside. And then we need a scalloped circle with a hole in the middle. So to get that, we have to use the one and three quarter inch punch first. I'll show you why. So we're gonna punch, and you wanna punch kind of far in, not right at the edge. Okay, so you're punching that out and you can just save that for another project. And then you're gonna go in with your scalloped punch. Oh gosh, I'm not even on the video, I'm sorry. I'm having problems here, okay. So we're gonna go in with our scallop punch and kind of center over the hole you've already made with your one and three quarter, oops, one and three quarter inch punch and punch that. So then you'll have your little scalloped ring. We'll set that aside. And then we're gonna use the big top paper. This is the designer series paper pack. It's a really cute paper. I love it. It's got lots of different stuff in it. So same concept with this. You have to punch your small hole first with the one and three quarter inch punch, which fits the sweet treat cup. Okay. And then you have to go over it with your two and a half inch punch and you have to center your one and three quarter inch circle pretty good so that your scallop will fit. Okay, so then you have that. Okay, let me set all these punches and jazz aside. Okay. So then you're gonna do your layering. So we're gonna put some uh, snail here on the ring, the scalloped ring, and then you're going to line up, let me zoom in some, whoops, okay, you're going to line your centers up, your holes, centers, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, okay, and then you're going to stick some adhesive on the back of what you've just layered. adhere it to your sweet treat cup and then you're gonna peel your backing off your sweet treat cup and then this is important you have to use sticky strip I've learned this the hard way when you put your gumballs in it puts pressure on your cup and your backing and so they separate. And I left some of them in the car because I was giving, I took some to some friends. And the heat, it was like it melted the adhesive. So I cut two small pieces of sticky strip and I'm putting them directly across from each other. I'm not putting sticky strip all the way around because that's silly. Okay. So then I'm just peeling off my doodahs here. Okay. And four double bubble gumballs. This is what I got. Ooh. Double bubble. Four of them fit in here very nicely. They're brightly colored so they look really cute. And then you just stick your backing right on. Oh, that music in the background is horrendous, isn't it? Okay, so then I bought these craft sticks at Walmart. Stampin' Up doesn't sell craft sticks. I don't think. 
I guess I should look in the catalog, but I'm pretty positive that they don't. So then I'm using sticky strip again to put at the top of my craft stick. This stuff sticks to your fingers. The sticky strip backing, when you take it off, it's like it has static electricity. Cute. And then I just am taking a little bitty strip of um, this ribbon. It's like Lucky Limeade. It's the striped, has the white on the edge. And you can either just tie one knot and trim it off, or you can tie a little bow. I'm going to attempt a little bow here. We'll see. Yeah, see, I didn't cut it long enough. Okay. So I'm just going to double knot it. I should have cut the ribbon longer. There we go. That's it. Trim, trim. And that's it. You have your little gumball lollipop. Super easy and fun. Love doing these. And they're really cute in a little glass jar with a bunch of them sticking out. It makes a cute little decoration sitting up on like your desk at work or wherever. Okay, have a great night everybody. Bye-bye.